Hello, my little baby angel unicorns. Welcome to my Cramathon read a vlog. If you guys don't know, Cramathon is a readathon that myself and three other booktubers host, and it is now the summer round of the Cramathon, so figured I would make a read a vlog specifically for this readathon because, you know, I am a host, so I should probably be involved, you know? So I had a whole TBR planned out, and then, uh, because I'm trash, I decided to read all of those books last week, not during the readathon, so now we're kind of winging it. So I actually finished one of my books already because I was working all day today, so I literally just read the whole time, but I finished The Telling by Alexandra Saroy. This is going to be for the challenge of a book that's been on your TBR for a really long time, and I've probably had it on my shelf for like over two years. It was one that my mom actually picked for me for my regular June TBR, but you know, it's gonna count. I actually really liked it. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I thought I was gonna hate it because I just recently read The Creeping by the same author and it was the stupidest book ever. I was really worried about this, but it is so much better. Like the improvement in it, her writing is crazy. It doesn't even feel like it's by the same person, to be honest. I'm gonna do like a full wrap up for the Cramathon once it's over. So once the readathon is completely over, then I'll make a video of my full thoughts on all the books that I read. But so far, we down one. So that's good. One out of seven challenges complete. And it's only 6.24 on the first day. If you guys watched my read vlog last week, then you know I messed up my foot. I can't really go anywhere because it hurts like a motherfucker to walk at all. So I'm kind of bed bound, which is a good thing for a readathon if you think about it. Really, what else am I going to do but read? So one of the challenges is to read a book that is not a normal book format. So I'm doing an audio book and the book that I chose is Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. She wrote Vampire Academy, which I like loved so much. So I saw this at the thrift store and I was like, your girl needs it. I'm only like 40 pages in so far to it. I'm intrigued, but I'm not like 100% invested in the story yet. But we'll see how that goes. I probably will listen to a little bit of it tonight. I also started The Last Namasara and this is by Kristen Cicerelli, there you go, but I'm only like 15 pages in because it was at the end of my work shift and I haven't done anything since that. I haven't figured out uh, what challenge this is going to be for yet, so I should probably do that. Maybe I'll use it for out of my comfort zone because it's a fantasy and I never read fantasies. I'm more of a thriller, young adult kind of chicky, so... Maybe that's what we're gonna use it as. As I said, I have no idea what I think of the story because I literally just started it. I'm gonna go read all night because I can't leave my bed, so I'll update y'all later, I guess. Now, day two of the Gramathon. I spent my morning at the mall with my mom and Ricardo. Back in the car. <laughs> we're gonna go get holders for my boobs. Nothing back. I don't care. They're my loyal family. Are they? I don't know. Are you? <laughs> now you don't have anything to update. My life is not exciting today. My foot still hurts. Should be going for an x-ray. No! <sighs> Tomorrow. Shut up. I got four bras, my boob holders, because uh, none of my bras fit me anymore because I've gained so much weight since I've bought bras in like the 10th grade so I needed a little upgrade you know and I had gift cards so I was like let's go get some boob holders hey so I did that with my mom and then Ricardo came and we got him a couple of shirts and shorts for summertime and you're a beautiful yes. butterfly <laughs> it actually doesn't look bad no, it's not horrible. I actually like yeah. it but, it might right here. but it's cute it actually looks good on you yeah yeah and then we went to Bath and Body Works and I spent way too much money because it's like the semi-annual sale and I always figure I might as well buy 
as much as possible during that time because they're all like three dollars instead of the like twenty dollars everything is when it's not on sale so got like 10 things for like fifty dollars which is way better than like two things for fifty dollars i'm just saying so i dropped like a hundred dollars that i don't have but it's fine i'm pretending that i'm loaded i mean like not anymore because i spent all the money but <laughs> It's fine. I have work tonight, so I'm gonna make up for it, okay? I read a lot this morning before I went to the mall with my mom and Ricardo, and then I went out to lunch with Rafardo, and I'm about to go to work soon, but I thought I would update you guys on what I've read today so far. I'm on chapter six of The Glittering Court, my audiobook. So far, like, it's good, it's entertaining, but nothing has really happened that much. Not that far into it. I'm like 80 pages in and it's like 400 pages, so I'm hoping that it'll pick up more because I think right now it's just like the backstory kind of thing and that always bores me until it gets to like the good stuff, you know? And then I'm also reading The Last Namasara and I'm actually loving this. I'm on 125. It's like a dragon book. I'm not a huge fantasy reader, so I think because it's so different from what I normally read, I'm really enjoying it. But my plan after work today is to just read as much as I can of this because I'm actually like wanting to know what the heck happens next. So if you guys have read this, let me know what you thought of it. Work is gonna be interesting today because I can't walk that well, like I can limp. I have to teach three basketball classes, which like you can't really do limping. You have to be able to run, right? So it's gonna be an interesting time. Maybe if I like tie my shoe tight enough, then I won't feel the pain. That's what we're gonna go with and hope for the best. It is now day three of Cramathon. It's 11 in the morning and I have been running sprints all morning on the Cramathon Twitter. So I actually did get quite a bit of reading done. So I thought I would update you guys because I'm about to go out to lunch with Rafardo. I made it to 185 of the Glittering Court and it's actually getting way better so that's a good sign. Girls have now gone to the court, so they're trying to pick their suitors. I actually really like Adelaide as a main character. At the beginning of the book, I kind of thought that she was going to be this whiny brat, and I was like not looking forward to it, but as the story has gone on, she's gotten better and better in my opinion. She's super sassy, which your girl loves herself, some sassy characters, so I'm really enjoying this one. And then I kind of switched over to my out of my comfort zone read, so that's The Last Namasara and I got to page 150 of this and I'm actually loving this one. I'm thinking it might actually be a five star read, which I don't read fantasy. So this is like super surprising to me, but your girl is digging the dragons. So basically the rest of the plans for today is that I'm going out to lunch for Ricardo. He's gonna go to work and then I'll probably come home and read some more or I might hang out a little bit with my mom. She's at physio right now, which is why I spent the whole morning reading because she is a great distraction for me. But yeah, I will update you guys later on today. Maybe if I read anything else, I guess we'll see. Tell them, tell them we just had our heart broken. Whole restaurant has their meal paid for. And we got told, oh hey, your meal's paid for. <laughs> and then they came back. You're like, well, you got here after the guy left, so your meal's not actually paid for. Sorry, we thought you were here. So now we have not free food. It doesn't taste as good. You know, you know, they say like when your food tastes better when it's free. It tastes way worse when you think it's free and then it's not. It's day four. I finished two books today already. It's five o'clock right now. Hi. I knew you were coming. I was like, I could hear him, so I was waiting. One person said they wanted a video with you. One. One person? Here Out of like 300. <laughs> I don't get a lot of views, okay? I'm not very popular. Get market. You can get more of that. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I finished The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead and I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. I originally said that this was going to be the book that I'm using for not your standard novel because I was listening to it on audiobook, but I just got sent two graphic novels from Raincoast books and for a second, so I'm gonna use that. It's a box. It says Burlington. Burlington's right by where I live. <laughs> Am I doing okay? Can I do it? No. Come on. It's a box. It's a box. And you'll never know what's inside until I think it's there's time. two. There's two in here. Can we just take in how many books are on my bed right now? You need to skidaddle. I want to see who opened the book. No, you can't 
see the Why other can't book. I see? Because why I am I not allowed? Because I can't open things with you here because I why? just talk to you the whole time. But you can talk to me. You can I'll sit right there. No. Can we take in my uh <laughs> I would like to point this out, people. This is just part of it. It goes here. You can wait for it. Wait. Uh, under the, that's there's a pile behind the front pile here. Here. These are the ones that I read. Here, tucked in beside the bookcase. On the bookcase. <laughs> in the bookcase, okay. which is where the book should be. How Hold on, wait for it. There we go. I'm just seeing if I can make people vomit. There's no rhyme or reason. You know how people do your um they do their their bookcase tours. This is your tour. Thanks. And your people are gonna go, what the heck, Jay? There's stuff in grandma's room too. Oh, is there? Okay, hold on, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, pass the toilet paper. Pass the hippopotamus collection. Ooh, that's good. Feel free to send them to Jay too because they'll go into my cabinet. This is my room on the dresser in my bookcase. There you go. So I'm going to be like a total cheater right now and use the glittering cord as my book with my favorite color. On the cover because you know this side doesn't have purple on it but do you see that purple on the back <laughs> I'm a cheater whatever I want to complete the challenges okay leave me alone and then the second book that I completed today I loved so much I gave it a five out of five stars it was so freaking good it was for the challenge out of my comfort zone which honestly I think is why I enjoyed it so much because I never read fantasy books and it was just like way different than whatever I usually read. But it is The Last Name of Sara by Kristen Cicerelli. And as I said, five out of five stars, like dragons and forbidden love and just so much action and goodness. And I just, oh. so now I need to figure out what I'm gonna read next. I'm probably gonna pick up the two graphic novels. They sent me, check please. I've heard that this is an adorable book graphic novel a lot of people love it and then they also sent me animus this one sounds really cool because it's about this japanese haunted playground and your girl likes her creepy shit so i'm excited about this one we have secured our new family member his name is albert because he has crazy hair so it's like einstein so we named him albert and who is he replacing he's replacing harold because harold died because mom Excuse me? <laughs> Water Excuse me? Mom likes to kill our children. I would like to point out on a that regular you, basis. You have not looked after them at all. Uh because I was at school. And I'm thinking Excuse me. I'm thinking how one, is, um, one out of ten um, is pretty good. How's Alfonso doing? Oh, he's also dying. No, he's back on track. I forgot to water him. Oh. <laughs> it's now day five of Cramathon. I completed another book. I mean it was a graphic novel, so it's a very fast read, but I love it so much. It was the cutest thing in the entire world. It was Check Please by Ngozi Ikazu. And this was like a web series comic on the interwebs a very long time ago. In like 2014, I think it started. But it is so cute. Five out of five stars. I'm using it for my challenge of the not your typical book challenge. But if you guys have not read this yet, it's available online. I highly recommend you guys check it out. It is super cute, super fluffy. I'm probably going to do like a full separate review for this book. I just filmed my full review for The Last Name of Sara because whenever I give books 5 out of 5 stars, I usually do a review. So it'll be available on my channel sometime. Who knows when I actually feel like editing because... I'm a piece of trash and take forever to edit videos. It's four o'clock right now. I've basically spent my entire day in my bed because I'm a lazy and my mom is out today. So I literally have nobody home to spend time with me because she went out with her sister. So I've read all day, but I read Hidden Bodies by Caroline Kepneys. I'm a about 200 pages in so far. I'm using this as my five-star prediction book and I might actually be correct. I'm loving it so far. It's the sequel to you, which I also gave five out of five stars. So I just assumed, you know, your girl probably gonna love this one as well. Joe is still creepy, but I'm still rooting for him even though that is fucked up. I love Joe as a character, my little stalking creeper, which you know, like I usually find books where the boys are stalkers to be super gross and I hate the characters because I'm like stalking is not cute but something about Joe I root for him every time welcome to day six of Karamathon I finished two more books today it's now five o'clock I just finished work finished Hidden Bodies by Caroline Kepney's last night and I'm giving it four out of five stars I liked it 
It was good, but definitely did not live up to You, which was one of my favorite books in 2016. It doesn't have the same like second person narrative that You does, which made me love You so much. And then this morning I finished Animus, which is by Anton Rivoy. I'm probably saying that wrong. But this is a graphic novel and I was super excited about it because it sounded super creepy and right up my alley. It's like this haunted playground and this little guy in the mask, he's like a ghost of a child who went missing a long time ago and it was basically like these two kids had to discover who he actually was in order to set him free from the playground but honestly it was just super boring and I was just not into it. I did finish it in like 20 minutes because it is a graphic novel super short but I'm only giving it a two out of five stars because I just bleh. and then at work today I got through like 200 ish pages of Before I Let Go by Marike Nijkamp Again, probably saying that wrong. This is my LGBTQIA own voices novel because it has asexuality, which the author is asexual, I believe. This was the only book from my original TBR that stayed on my TBR, so I mean, that's good. I did something right. So far, I'm kind of confused with what the heck is even going on in it. I honestly have no idea if it's paranormal or what. I, I'm just... I'm lost at the moment, but I'm gonna go read more of that and hopefully figure out what the heck is going on because your girl super confused. Welcome to day seven of Cramathon. I am going to do no reading today because my mom has this huge surprise planned for me in Toronto. No idea what it is, but we're leaving soon to go to the train station. But I figured I'd update you guys on what I read yesterday because I finally completed all seven challenges of the Cramathon. So I finished Before I Let Go by Marike Kid Champ. I'm still saying that wrong. I'm sorry. Like, Never gonna be able to say that name. I think I'm gonna give it a 2.5. I had no idea what was going on the entire time and it kind of was a huge struggle to finish because I I did not understand it. So maybe I'm just like not deep enough for this book, but it was not a fun time for me. I'm gonna go to the train station now and go to my surprise, whatever it is. I'll let you guys know what it is when I know. So exciting! So exciting! That's your surprise. You're an adult. I went to go see the Phantom of the Opera. Sing it, eh? Think of me, think of me one day. Is that it? When you say goodbye. She abandoned me. Why? I don't know why. You don't know why I abandoned you? No. Seriously? I didn't do nothing. She said I was being annoying because I, I undid that buckle on her pants How and those times? shoes. How many times? Only like and the purse. four times. Uh -huh. Only four? like four times. Four hundred? Yes. It's now eight o'clock on Saturday night. I just got home from my surprise. It was a Phantom of the Opera with my mom. It was really good. I really liked it. The music was kind of confusing because there would be like eight people singing at once and I was like, what is happening? I, just, I don't understand what these people are saying. As I said like earlier in the vlog, I completed all seven challenges. So I've decided that I'm closing the vlog off tonight because tomorrow is Father's Day. I work until four and then I'm going to be spending time with my dad. No reading is going to get done tomorrow. No reading is going to get done tonight because I just don't feel like reading. So we're ending the vlog now. Thank you so much for joining me for Cramathon and everybody who participated. You guys are amazing. We love you and hopefully you guys will join us for the next round. But we'll let you guys know when that's going to be. Hopefully you guys completed your challenges that you wanted to and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!